I subscribe to this magazine. It's probably a little more expensive than it should be. And this company advertises in it, Victor. And I, I, I did a show an order from Victor a while back. Now I place it through the Victor website. This company, however, Kits, has a very bad website. At least it's bad as far as I'm concerned. But I saw some things. Be interesting to see what this looks like. I had to call these people and I gave them this. HSM 19 code, but I notice it's the same month for month, even though the ads change. Free shipping on everything more than um, total order of more than $25. I placed the order on a Monday, maybe a Tuesday, but I think a Monday. It came Friday. Can't complain about that. This is the package, and it has a packing slip. So my order came to $54.87. So let's see how to open it. I guess we'll just have to cut it. See what lies therein. Looks like they used a piece of their catalog for padding. And we'll just take these things out. That's in a box. Two boxes of tap wrenches. So they're not drilled or centered. Well, that one's drilled. This one's drilled. And this one's drilled. But the little one's not. So I can't eat, really use a center on it. Nice four jaw. I'm not sure what this goes down to, but it's not, certainly not very small. They're nicely packed in uh, some sort of rust preservative. Whatever the Chinese use for that. So they're all four jaw. All T handle with a ball or something in the end. As I said, the three larger ones at least have a hole drilled in them. That probably is a center. And the smaller one does not. Now it's not clear to me. 
I guess it says set. The advert in the uh, magazine implied you might get one block, but on their website it showed two blocks. So I think there's two. And Blaze Tool appears to be an Indian outfit. I've seen Chinese machine tools are not as competitive with India. Now these are supposedly not hardened, but for a hobby shop, I'll never use them enough to uh, require hardened blocks, I don't believe. Certainly packed well enough. Big V, small V, two grooves. They're well oiled. These are a cast U and a more or less okay screw. So let's see what this drill press vise looks like. It's also made in India. Has a handle. I mean it should, right? And one end unscrews, the other end is fixed. Appears to be ground and ground back here. So it'll lay, it's bought, it's ground on all four sides. It is not ground on the edges. Here's everything that's not ground is painted with some gray crinkly paint. And the thing does have replaceable jaws. So the jaw has a V crosswise and vertically, and that's the fixed jaw. The movable jaw has a, a vertical V. The fixed jaw is held on with Allen screws. What's the movable jaw held on with? It appears that the movable jaw also has recessed, but their Allen head cap screws are just recessed quite a bit. So that was $16. Not bad for sixteen dollars. The last thing is this screw jack set. It's also made in India. I think it was advertised as Little Giant, but I don't see a name on it. It was sold as Little Giant, as a matter of fact. For fourteen dollars. All right, we'll take out the piece I can recognize. It looks like a handle. So it's just a rod. So it's a machine steel base with a swivel head on it. So well, we have a riser with a 
uh, I guess it would be a female V. Here we have what appears to be a riser with a male V. And last of all, we have a, a high riser. And it's just riser. Now let's look at these risers. That one's two inch. That one's an inch. The jack itself looks like it may come out an inch. So I'll bet, I'll bet this jack is two inches. That's a little more than two inches. So you can place the jack on a flat surface and have a rotating swivel head. You can replace the head with a pointed head. And you can mount the base on a male or a female, depending on what you're jacking against. So that's the little giant jack. That's some stuff from Kits Industrial Tools.